What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Marlboro Man suggested an assault rifle for Modern Warfare 2, the M16. I'm pretty sure the last time I used this thing was back in Season 1, and back then it was probably one of the best ARs in the game, so I'm definitely hyped to see how this thing's performing now in Season 3. Before we get into the build I'm using for the M16, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos, such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo, or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So as suggested by Marlboro Man, we're using the Quarter Classic Reflex Sight, the Jack BFB Muzzle, which drastically improves the recoil control, the VX Pineapple Grip, which greatly increases your gun kick control and hip recoil control, the 60 round mag, and last but not least, the SAC and ZX grip, which also increases our recoil control. Thank you again to Marlboro Man for the suggestion and for the build. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. So, now that we covered the build I'm using for the M16, I'd say it's time to head over to the Tier 3 zone and the Dark Aether to see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone. As you can see, we got this bad boy 2 pack 3. Now unfortunately, we lost our tombstone after that update last night. No clue why, that's the first time it's ever happened. So uh, unfortunately, we don't have that 110,000 essence to start off with, but it's all fine, it's all good. We'll go ahead and rebuild that during this game. We got a mega abomination as our target. We only have one plate. We lost our golden plates because of that little issue, so... Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to play it a bit careful, but I'll see you guys once I'm by the Mega. Ooh, actually, we'll quickly make a pit stop over at the Wonder Fizz just to grab Deadshot Daiquiri and a few other perks. Alright, we got a couple perks and we have a few zombies behind us, so let's just quickly test this thing out. And, uh, yeah, it is doing some serious work, man. Almost killed that Mimic already, too. Yeah. I'm loving this thing. Let's go. Let's quickly play it up. Take out these zombies right here. Yep, great for groups of zombies. Let's see if we can take out this mangler right there. Awesome. Broke his armor already, and the mangler is dead. <laughs> yeah, this thing is feeling good, man. Absolutely loving it. There we go. Oh, let's back up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for this gun. Absolute demon here in the tier 3 zone. All right, let's move over to that Mega Abomination now. All right, where are you at, Mega? There he is. Let's actually get his attention real quick. Pretty sure we can jump on one of those pedestals just to trigger his laser attacks. Nope, he's going to charge into us. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's quickly come over here. Never mind, he's hitting us with a laser attack already. Nice. <laughs> already destroyed one of his faces. That's just insane. There we go. Ah, oh, we can't trigger it. Hold on, let's quickly play it up and try this little pedestal here. Does it not work anymore? It was working the other day, man. Dang. Okay. Let's bring him over here quickly. Dodge his attack. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, Mega. Come on, hit us with a laser. No, you want to, bruh. Come on. There we go. Might actually have to lure him over to that building right there in a bit. There we go, another laser attack's coming in. Uh, can we not get it? Nice. Two faces destroyed. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Alright, Mega, we just need one more laser attack from you. Let's actually see what's in here real quick. Ooh, just a little bit of essence. Nice. Won't say no to that. Alright. Come on, Mega. One laser attack's all I'm asking for, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's just alert him over here. Speed things up a bit. Come on. Come over here, dude. There we go. His face is glowing. Let's take advantage of that. Ooh, we might actually be able to get the kill without a laser attack. Not gonna lie. Doing some serious damage on the guy. Just playing it a bit more careful since we don't have a three plate at the moment. There we go. Nice laser attacks coming in. And that's gonna be the kill for us. Beautiful. Let's see what he dropped here. Sigil, which we definitely need. Pack two crystal, napalm burst. 
Very nice. Got a free large bag off that. I'll take the epic tool too. Why not? Beautiful. Definitely some decent loot there. Definitely needed that large bag. That saves us 10,000 essence, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, damage output on this thing is just insane, man. Um, I would have tweaked the build a bit just to speed up the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. But it looks like the person who suggested the M16 was going for a bit of recoil control, which is fine. But um, once you have Deadshot Daiquiri, recoil really isn't an issue once you're on controller. So, uh, yeah. Nice. Alright, let's see if there's another bounty contract somewhere. And there is. Beautiful. I'll quickly grab the car here and make my way over there. There we go. We made it to the contract. Let's see what target we get off this one. And it's another Mega. Nice. Hopefully we get a three plate off that guy. That would be very nice. All right. There we go. Mega Abominations right there. Let's try to get his attention. Nice. All right. Beautiful. There we go. Now let's climb up here. Should trigger a laser attack. Very nice. Let's actually start lighting him up. There we go. One face destroyed already. Yeah, the damage output is just crazy on this thing, man. It's just been a great AR since Season 1. And of course, the fact that it goes full auto once it's Pack-a-Punch just makes it even better. And there we go, two faces destroyed on the Mega. <laughs> man, that's crazy. Not having any issues at all. Let's come up here. Come on, Mega, one more laser attack, bro. One more. That's all I'm asking for. Come on. Is he not going to do it? Oh man. Face is glowing though, so we can actually hit a few criticals, which is nice. There we go. Nice, got the kill. Quick and easy. Another large bag. I'll definitely stow that. Fortunately, it's not a three plate. I got a free two plate off that though. And another sigil, which I will take. Very nice. Is there another bounty? No. Alright, I might go do that deliver cargo contract real quick. That's a easy contract to do, and it's going to give us a bit of extra essence so we can start building up that tombstone stash again. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with that contract. Beautiful, delivered the cargo. Let's see what we get off of that. Uh, nothing too special. Um, guess I'll take the epic tool. Why not? Is there a bounty contract? And there is. Nice. Alright, let's go grab that real quick. I'm debating whether I should buy a three plate or not. I mean, so far it's smooth sailing. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, let's let's not focus on the three plate. I guess we should be fine, even if we don't get one. I mean, a two plate or a one plate is good enough for the normal dark ether, in my opinion. So, yeah. Ooh, free Casimir right there. Let's go. Saved another five thousand. See what we get off this contract and it's another mega okay nice easy contract right there let's stick these guys up yeah i mean just look at that the damage output is just insane on this gun man i'm loving it there we go mega abomination is right up ahead let's try to get his attention beautiful all right now we should be able to quickly climb on this bus nice it's gonna make it really oop for some reason it didn't swap weapons man <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, we Gucci, we Gucci. There we go, another laser attack's coming in. Let's focus on that face to the right. Beautiful. Let's keep lighting him up. Oh my god, he's so weak already, man. That's just crazy. Just a few more shots. Oh, he's so close to dying, dude. Come on. Come on. There we go, got the kill. <laughs> yeah, this thing is feeling good, man. Nothing special back there. Alright, let's see what we got off of this one. And Shatter Blast and a Rare Tool. That's some abysmal loot right there. <laughs> what is this, tier 2? Ooh, another Mega just spawned up ahead. Let's actually take that guy out. Why not? Let's go for it. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Hold up. Wait a minute. There we go. Nice. Already destroyed a face. Ooh, we're completely out of plates. Yeah, I'm telling you, we should be fine with just a two plate. Who needs plates, man? They just they make you heavy. <laughs> There we go. Oh, never mind. We need plates, boys. <laughs> we need plates. <laughs> Alright, we got more than enough self revives though, so we're good. Alright, let's focus on that face to the right. There we go. Gonna lure this guy back here. Oh, bounty contract actually just spawned in. Ah, uh, should we go grab that before those other guys do? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going for it yet. Might be fine. Let's quickly take him out. Come on. Just a few more shots. And there we go. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I'm loving this thing, man. 
Uh, another large bag. We'll take brain rot. Thank you very much. All right, let's go grab that bounty contract back there. There we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mimic this time. Nice. Good to switch things up a bit. And he's going to be, oh, pretty far. All right, I'll see you guys once I'm there. All right, mimic, where you at, bro? Is he in the staircase? Yeah, he is. All right, let's quickly come up here. There we go, bro. Ooh, nice. Let's take out some of these guys. Perfect. Now we can light him up. Oh, no. Oh, we were a bit too slow with the jump, man. <laughs> all good, all good. Let's quickly pick those plates up. Nice. All right, perfect. We're in a good spot now. Let's finish this guy off real quick. Take out some of these zombies in the way. Beautiful. All right. And now we jump down again. Yeah, this is the play to make against this guy. There we go. Take out some of those boys. And we should be able to get the kill. Nice. See what we got off that. A pack two crystal. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Jug we already have. All right. Any more bounty contracts? No, not seeing any. Let's quickly grab bonus points. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's quickly hit the Wonder Fizz just to grab Tombstone. I think that's the only perk we really need. I uh, don't want to waste too much essence, so let's do that. I guess Quick Revive is going to help as well, just to make us heal up a bit quicker. Alrighty. And another bounty contract spawned in right next to us. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and equip the Casimir so that we automatically equip another one if we get one from killing the bounty target. So, yeah. There we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get this time. And it's a Disciple. Nice. Haven't fought that guy yet. Let's go. And the disciple decided to die. All right. No, not bad. Some free essence right there. I'm not going to complain. All right. Let's take these guys out so we can check our reward. And nothing too special. I'll take the epic tool just as a placeholder for now. Um, No bounty contracts anywhere. You know what? I guess we could go over to the dark ether now. Just thinking if there is anything else we need, but not really. We should be fine. We should be fine. All right, I'll see you guys once I'm by the portal. And there we go, boys. We made it to the portal. Let's use our sigil, accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier four zone. And there we go, boys. We made it to the dark ether. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here. This is where we'll find the first contract, being the bounty contract. Now, fingers crossed, we get a mega and we got a disciple. Damn. Okay, that is probably the most annoying target you can get, to be honest with you. But, we sh you know, we should be fine. We should be fine. Well, to be fair, we're in the normal dark ether. The elder dark ether, on the other hand... Disciples are a whole other animal. <laughs> and, I mean, of course, we have the M16, which means we'll just rip through this guy. Fingers crossed. Let's see. I mean, the only issue at the moment is that there's already so many zombies spawning the whole time, and that Disciple's just going to spawn more of them. So, uh, yeah, we might have a rough time here. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. There we go. Disciple's right there. Broke his armor. All right, we'll have to come down here now. See what I mean, man? That's way too many zombies. Oh my god. Jeez. All right. Let's quickly use that self res. There we go. Oh, that was our last selfie. Okay, hold on. We'll have to play it safe then. Let's get a bit closer to him. Pop Ether Shroud. There we go. Oh, no frame drops. Not now. There we go. Disciple's about halfway. Oh no. Oh no. That lag almost killed us, man. Packet burst. What is this? There we go. Let's take some of these guys out. They'll give us some armor plates. Perfect. There we go. An insta-kill or something would come in handy right about now. Jeez, that's a lot going on here. Uh, let's quickly drop this thing, maybe. No, hold on. Let's back up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's that's the only tip I can give for fighting off Disciples, man. You'll have to do a lot of running. It's all about your movement for this. There we go. Beautiful. Oh. All right. Can we drop this thing now? There we go. That worked. Beautiful. That's going to help out a bit. Let's take out some of these zombies while we're at it. 
shoot his arm. There we go. Stopped his heal. Exactly what we needed. Oh my god, he's so close to dying, man. And there we go. Contract complete. Would say quick and easy, but that was actually pretty rough. BR11K, so I'm definitely going to grab that. Thank you very much. Alright, what is going on with all this packet burst, man? I don't know what's up with the Elder Dark Ether, or Dark Ether in general. It happens in the Elder and here. It's like, FPS is fine. We're hovering between like 160 and 190 for the most part. So, uh, yeah, it seems to be a server issue at this point. Alright, so once you finish that contract, make your way over to that rooftop right there. That's E7 on the map. And, uh, let me show you guys once we get a bit closer. Let's, uh, not go down yet. Alright, we'll have to throw our blade just before climbing, just to take out some of the zombies. There we go, we Gucci, we Gucci. Alright, so this is a building right here. You can either take this ladder at the back of the building, or you can come up through the staircase right there. Regardless how you come up here, just pick up the contract that's going to ping the P&D device over at the diner. So just dolphin dive and open up your parachute. Fly in this direction right here into this foggy area. You shouldn't have any zombies to worry about at this point. Just run up this hill, climb these two little walls, and there we go. We made it to the PMD device. So just go ahead and get this activated. And for this contract, all you have to do is stay in this room. Now, jeez, these frame drops are something else, man. Yo, yo, the dark ether's broken, man. What is going on right now? <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's not my internet either. I mean, tier three was, oh my god. Latency variation, packet burst, we're getting it all. <laughs> all right, so my preferred strategy is just to stay in this back room right here and uh, just let Deadshot Daiquiri do all the work. Now, these zombies are going to bring you ammo and they'll bring you armor, which is great. So just stay back here, kill them all. Don't take any unnecessary risks for this contract. It's really not worth it. Just take your time. If you have to run out from time to time, that's fine as well, in case it gets too crowded for you or the weapon you're using just isn't performing. Then, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with hopping out from time to time. You'll still progress with the contract because the progression bar goes down a lot slower than it goes up. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done with this contract. And there we go, boys, contract complete. Now, once you finish out, most of the zombies in the main room are going to die. Some of the zombies in this back room might still be alive, so just take them out. Oh my god, man. Hopefully we survive this. Oh, a legendary tool. Let's go. That made up for it. And uh, death perception. Mag of holdings as well, which is very nice. All right, so once you finish that contract, just start running in this direction right here. We're going to go to the rooftop of the mall. Now there's a few ways you can get up there. There's an ether tier in this building right there, I believe. You can also go up the stairs inside the mall or climb up there through the parking garage right here. But we're just going to run right here and take this ether tier. It's going to shoot us up into the sky. And from here, we just need to land on this peak. I'll open up my parachute before we actually hit the ground because with, uh, with this packet burst stuff, yeah, I ain't taking any risks. There we go. So once you pick that up, start running west immediately. And as you can see up ahead, the three extractors just landed. So just keep running in this direction here. We'll quickly play it up for this part. All right, there we go. Then just parachute over to this platform here. From here, you can parachute over to this rooftop. And once you land here, just throw a Casimir at the ground like so. That's going to bounce off towards the cars. But more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. There we go. Now just start running towards the second extractor. Now normally I would recommend having three Casimirs, but I'm trying to save up on Essence just to build up that tombstone stash again. So throw your Casimir at that wall. It's going to bounce off. And as you can see, it's pulling in all the zombies. So the Casimirs pretty much do all the work for you. Then just run over to the third and final extractor. Pop Ether Shroud. Oh, no, it's bugged. All right, there we go. You got to make sure that the uh, interact button is actually glowing or that that circle, you know, you know what I mean. You guys know what I'm talking about. OK, there we go. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. We're definitely going to grab that. Uh, drop the pack two crystal, which is fine. Is there something we can replace? Oh, man, let's drop the epic tool, I guess. Let's try to loop back around and pick that up. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of zombies, man. I'm not sure if we can do it. Oh, we got it. Yoink. All right, let's blade up. Awesome. 
we made it boys some pretty juicy loot i mean that legendary tool pretty much made up for all those terrible contracts we had in the tier 3 zone and look at that we're at 53,000 essence which means we'll have that to start the next game with it's looking good boys it's looking good and of course that elder sigil which means we can go over to the elder dark ether for the next video which i'm definitely hyped about so uh yeah my final rating for the m16 is gonna have to be 10 out of 10 i mean you guys see how this thing performs it just absolutely rips through everything this makes all zones super easy so if you're looking for a good ar to use i definitely recommend this thing the fr advance here is also really nice to be honest it's been a while since i've used that thing but um yeah thank you again for the suggestion if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out then be sure to drop a comment below Thank you all for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, it really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.